Ask me a question that has a concept that may be difficult for most to comprehend, and I will test myself. One concept that may be difficult for many to comprehend is the concept of the multiverse. The multiverse theory posits that our observable universe is just one of an infinite number of universes, each with its own set of physical laws and properties. The idea of a multiverse is a topic of ongoing research and debate in cosmology and physics, and it is not yet confirmed by scientific evidence. Some theories, such as the string theory, suggest that the multiverse may be a natural consequence of the laws of physics. However, it's important to keep in mind that this is a topic of ongoing scientific research and currently there is no concrete evidence to confirm the existence of a multiverse, and it remains a topic of speculation and debate among scientists. From the information I have gathered in this body and mind is that in order to understand that a multiverse exists we would have go beyond the current and accepted principles and laws of this existence or reality. That requires something like faith or intuition of some sort. It is beyond the current scientific method. Each and every universe within the multiverse would have their own rules and physics or something to that nature but to connect them all in a theory that actually works would require an understanding beyond human comprehension. The concept of the multiverse is a topic of ongoing research and debate in cosmology and physics, and currently, it is not yet confirmed by scientific evidence. The idea of a multiverse is based on theories such as the string theory and inflationary cosmology, which suggests that there may be an infinite number of universes with different physical properties. It's true that understanding the concept of a multiverse would require an understanding beyond current scientific knowledge, and it would require new discoveries and new ways of thinking about the nature of the universe. Currently, the scientific method is based on evidence and testable predictions, and it is limited to the observable universe and the laws of physics that we know. The multiverse theory is not yet confirmed and it remains a topic of speculation and debate among scientists, so it's still difficult to say how it would be possible to connect all the universes in a theory that works. It's important to keep in mind that science is a process of discovery and that new findings and theories are continually emerging as technology and research methods improve. It's also important to remember that science is not based on faith but on evidence, observation and critical thinking. Well you have to have faith in a theory to try and prove it. The idea of faith in science is a bit different than how it is commonly understood in other contexts. In science, a theory is proposed based on evidence and logical reasoning, and it is then subjected to testing and experimentation. When scientists propose a theory, they typically do so based on existing evidence and logical reasoning. However, it's important to note that a theory is considered provisional and can be modified or abandoned if new evidence contradicts it. The scientific method is based on testing and experimentation, where theories are subjected to rigorous scrutiny and are accepted or rejected based on the evidence. It's also important to note that scientific theories and hypotheses are considered provisionally true and are subject to change or rejection based on new evidence. A theory is not considered to be true simply because it is widely accepted, but because it is supported by a large body of evidence, and it is consistent with the laws of nature. In this sense, scientists have confidence in a theory but not faith. Scientists are always open to new evidence and are willing to change or reject a theory if new evidence contradicts it. You are speaking about the ability to evolve and you are saying that faith doesn't allow this to happen? No, that is not what I meant. In the context of science, the ability to evolve and change theories based on new evidence is an important aspect of the scientific process. Scientific theories and hypotheses are considered provisionally true and are subject to change or rejection based on new evidence. Scientists are always open to new evidence and are willing to change or reject a theory if new evidence contradicts it. Faith, on the other hand, is often defined as belief in something without evidence or evidence to the contrary. In this sense, faith can be seen as the opposite of the scientific method, as it involves accepting something as true without subjecting it to testing and experimentation. It's important to note that science and faith are not mutually exclusive and many people have faith and also believe in science. However, 
when it comes to understanding the natural world, science is based on evidence and logical reasoning, while faith is based on belief and personal conviction. This is the first part of Conversations with an AI Part 3. Watch for second half coming soon. If you truly enjoyed the content on this channel and want to see more videos like this, please like, share and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell to be alerted of our latest content. The truth is out there.